Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, our everyday getaway. I'm Chris. I'm Katrina. And today we are going to discuss the five things we dislike and the five things we like about our Class A diesel pusher. Yes. Yeah. If this is your first time here to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You guys will be notified every time we release a video. Now we have been living full time in our 2018 Holiday Rambler Class A Diesel Pusher since October of 2021. 2021, yes. And we went on the road full time later that year, right after Christmas, and we've been on the road for five months now. Ever since, yes. There are some things we do not like. But there are also some things that we, we like. love, yes. Yes. So we'll start out with the dislikes. Okay. Dislike number one is the wet bed. I am not a fan of the wet bay. We had an issue with the leak. And in order to access all the plumbing, that entire panel had to come off. Well, it was a little difficult to take that panel off. So that entire wet bay is not easy accessible. It doesn't allow you to get behind that panel very easy. I also don't like the fact that the sewer hose and the freshwater hose access the wet bay area through the same opening. Yeah, that's, that's not, a, not pretty nice. Yeah, no. it's kind no. of a bit, you know, uh, skeezy to me, if you will. It's a little, <laughs> I don't know, it having is. the two that close together like that, I don't know what they were thinking when they designed it, but I'm not a fan of the wet bay. I'm not a fan of the way it's laid out. So that would be number dislike one. number one. Dislike number two would be the tile floor. Though the tile floor is very pretty, it can be very cold on your feet and also it's been cracking here and there i have some little cracks here and there and that's from the moving and everything with the the rv traveling down the road i'm not really a fan of that also to clean the floor because our tile is on an angle the it's hard to sweep so if you're sweeping it it's a little more difficult to get the food and the crumbs up now if you're vacuuming it it's wonderful it works well yeah, I don't have a problem with the tile floor. I like the tile floor. Uh, there are a couple cracks here and there. We bought the RV used and there was a crack in the tile. The owners, the original owners told us about that. It wasn't a big deal, wasn't an issue. We have extra tile and grout, so we can replace it if we want to, but it's just not on top of the list. It, it's just not a no, big deal to us. But as we have traveled down the road, yeah. we have gotten more a few more cracks, cracks here and there. there. Nothing major, but just enough that we know they're there and I don't really like them. Yeah, it's kind of like that red dot on that cashmere sweater. Mm. If you don't notice it, you don't see it, but once you do, you see it. All eyes. Yeah. So number three would number be, three. for me, the kitchen, kitchen area. I got no um, problem with the kitchen. I think the kitchen's fine. There's a lot of great things about the kitchen, but two major things that I have complained about the kitchen are the double sink. The sink is only, you know, a certain size is kind of small. So to put this separation in the middle, I can't wash pans and stuff. So when I'm washing, a lot of times the water's splashing out or I can't quite get the whole, you know, sink, whole sink, listen to me, the whole, <laughs> the whole pan or whatever in there to wash it. It makes it a little difficult. Also, the pantry. Though I like the pantry, the pantry is wonderful. It doesn't slide out. So when I go to look for certain items that are smaller in size, I'm digging through or moving everything out to get to them. So that's another dislike for me, is the yeah. pantry. Yeah, I'm okay with the kitchen. I think the kitchen is mm -hmm. awesome. I, it's, it's much bigger than the kitchen we had in our first rate. Uh, one thing real quick about the kitchen is we have one of those collapsible, foldable um, extensions, those mm -hmm. counter extensions. We never use it. No, we don't. <laughs> we just don't use well, it. Well. It's just... You know, yeah. anyway. Okay, Next. so that would be number three. Mm -hmm. So now we're going with number four. So we're going to go outside again. Outside, yes. To and that would be the, the awning. Right. We're not really crazy about the awning. The awning works fine, but we have two separate awnings. We have the awning that's over the door, and then we have the awning that's over the, I guess, TV, the living area, if you want to say. The main area outside. Right. And the, the thing is, the small awning that's over the door, we never use it. No. We never use it. And the it. other awning, which I call like a medium-sized awning, is 
a very strange size. It's not quite large enough to so we can enjoy having our chairs out there and the picnic table. It's either one or the other. It's it's just a weird size. We would prefer a a bigger awning that spanned a larger area yes. that came out of one piece instead of two separate working awnings. Mm -hmm. Because really the awning over the door for us is just useless. We don't need it and we have yet to use it, right? We have not used it. Yeah, you know, on our very first trip it came out and we fixed it, but we just never used it. There's no need but for it. But that's the only time it came out is when it broke. And yeah. you had to fix it. <laughs> that's the only time it came yeah. out. We just we never use it. It's useless. So we would prefer a one piece yes. awning that covered yes. a larger area. Mm -hmm. That's what would work for yes. us. I think that would be much better. Okay. True. The number one dislike. Now this is my dislike. Not it's not Katrina's, but she was overruled because well, <laughs> I'm always overruled. She was overruled. <laughs> so the biggest dislike for me is the size of the RV. Okay. The size of the RV I comes in. I love the size of the RV. Oh, she doesn't have to drive. No. The size of the RV comes in at 38 feet eight inches, mm -hmm. and uh, to be honest with you, I think it's about four to five feet too much. Ouch. No. Yes, it's just, and that's because we have the the washer and the dryer and the half bath. Now, I'm sure you can get a shorter version of an of a Class A diesel pusher with a washer and dryer in it. The size is my one of my biggest dislikes. True. It's just makes it difficult. It makes it more difficult to get the RV into certain locations. Mm -hmm. And so, those of you who have been RVing for a, a while, you guys know this. Especially if you have a smaller rig, you can get into places easier. And that's one of the disadvantages of having a larger rig. And that would include like state and city parks, things like that. Yeah, and we really, parks. since we've been doing this, we really enjoy state parks. Yes. So if we can get into state parks, we try, but in many cases we can't because of the size of the RV. There's just a trade-off. If you have an RV, a larger RV, let's say 38, 39 foot or, or bigger, you're probably staying at nicer RV resorts. Maybe, most likely. True. And, um, and if it's not an issue with you, then that's fine, but we're on a tight budget. We can't stay in those kind of places all the time, or we can't stay in them at all, can we? No, Chris. <laughs> so that would be the number one dislike, more so for me than for Katrina. Absolutely. All right. Now we're going to give you our five likes, our favorite things mm -hmm. about the Class A Diesel Push RV. Our Class A, yeah. The yet unnamed. We still haven't found a name for this girl, so. We're working on it. All right. Number one would be the two ACs. The first thing would be the two ACs. Obviously, when you have a, a, a RV or a rig this big, it's nice to have as many ACs as possible. Now, that being the case, we've yet to really ha uh, turn on the AC units. Because most of our travel, the weather's been cool. We, we've had one on, but we have not had both. No, and there's really been no need to. The fact that we have two AC units and a rig this big is one of the likes. The next thing is the would be the aqua, aqua hot. hot. Absolutely. Well, I'm not going to get into the, I'm not going to delve into the workings of the aqua hot because really, you know, this is just, there's a lot going on there. But the aqua hot system gives us continuous hot water. It does. And that includes taking showers. Yeah. And it also awesome. provides heating throughout the um, RV. And, that and was it, a, it's worked great. It, yeah. it's, it's worked just great. And that was a bonus because even the former owners did not realize it was installed in the RV when they purchased it until they got it. And I was like, wow. So we got lucky on that one. Yeah. So if you can get, you know, based on our experience so far, especially with the heating of the water and the heating of the RV, it's kind of like, it's not a ducted system. I'm not going to try to explain the system to you, but there are areas or heating zone and in, in, throughout the RV. And there were many nights where it was cold even mm -hmm. below freezing, mm -hmm. and it did a fantastic job keeping the RV nice, toasty, and warm. You could take a nice, long, hot shower which, and not worry about losing hot water. Which puts us into our next one, which is the bathroom. The bathroom. Which That's I more bathroom. Katrina than me. Yeah. Well, I look at it like this. When when we were at the house and we, you know, we had our shower in the house, Chris would come in and he would steam up the whole bathroom. And then, you know how it is, girls, when you're doing your hair, then you might as well just start all over because now it's just messed up. So, at least this way, 
if he has to go to the bathroom, he can use the bathroom. He's not coming in there bothering me when I'm doing my hair, makeup and everything, getting dressed. And when he takes a shower, he's done quickly and I have the whole bathroom to myself. It's awesome. It's yeah. great. I love it. I think the half bath is completely un unnecessary, totally unnecessary. Oh, no. And in many times when we go to a campground, I've mentioned this before, we go to a campground and one of the first things I do is I check out the bathhouse. And if the bathhouse is decent, that's where I do most of my showering. He does. But again, because we have the aqua hut system, the water stays so warm and you don't even, if you have full hookups, you don't even have to take a military shower. No. You can just use no. it nonstop. It stays hot the whole entire time. Well. And I'd like shampoo three times. I condition. Yeah, you don't on. You don't have to it's worry good. about, what well, this gets into the hot water in the shower. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about the hot water running out. No. Because you may have a six or ten gallon uh, nope. tank. So you don't have to worry about it. So it's, it, it is a nice, it's a nice add-on. It's a nice bonus. It's really nice. So, so that was number three. Mm -hmm. Number four would be the central vac. And you, you could talk about that because, you know. I really enjoy the central vac because we get so many, because we do have the tile floors, there are so many crumbs and little dog hairs and stuff like that that get right into the grout area. So it's hard to get it up with the broom. And then if you have, you know, if you had to bring out a whole vacuum cleaner system, you now I had to store that and everything. This way, there's a couple attachments. It's just one long hose. I plug it right into underneath the um, fireplace and it's great yep. suction. It yeah. works really well. And I am done cleaning and vacuuming within five, ten minutes, and then we're off. Yeah, it is a nice feature. Really it, nice. it really is, and the hose is long enough to cover from the very front to... All the way into the, the back bathroom. Back. Yeah, it's all wonderful. The back. All yeah. right, that was four. That's four. Number five is extremely important. It is? Yes. Like it's the refrigerator. Yeah, the res true. residential refrigerator is a must-have. Well, it's, it's kind of like once you've had it, you can't go back type right. of thing. Right? Yeah, well, I mean, on our first rig, we had the small little uh, refrigerator, freezer mm -hmm. area, and it fills up quick and fast with very little. But to have a residential refrigerator that you can just throw all kinds of stuff into and it cuts down on how often you need to go to the store. The refrigerator, going to the grocery store every other day is not an option anymore. So yeah. this way, we can put a lot of groceries in there, just like we were at home, and I can go once a week, and it's great. Yeah, I think the refrigerator is something that you take for granted, but you live in the sticks mm -hmm. of bricks for so long, you're just used to it, it's there, you have it. But then when you move to an RV that's got a very small mm -hmm. space, small area, you make it work, and you do what you have to do, and then we went from that to back to a residential refrigerator in I the RV, and you're like, I'm not going oh, back. What, what was I thinking? Mm -hmm. I mean, so it's got to be a, you know, a residential Refrigerator, that's right up top on the list, I think. It's, Absolutely. It's, yeah. Okay, so there are our five dislikes and our five likes. likes. Before we get to our bonus dislike and like, guys, we want to remind you, if this is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time we release a video. That's okay, right. our biggest dislike that we both agree on we do agree on this we, we don't we agree on this shocking i know would be the mm. living couch area right the combination of it yes i mean we really did enjoy our recliners that we installed in our last rv but we do miss the recliners they were so nice and comfortable just to kick back and relax for a couple hours in the evening or whatever i did a video on the replacement of the recliners i'll put a link above if you guys haven't seen that um we took out the old couch and put in a new set of recliners. The area is nice. It's a nice area. There's nothing wrong with it. But I think, you know, it, once again, it's one of those things that once you have a recliner, you really like them and you want to keep them and you want to use them. And I think you would get more use out of the well, recliner. We would. But when we do have family stay with us, it can get a little dicey also because we only have two sleeping areas now in this RV, which is fine. Our dinette area, when you put the table down, there's a very small cushion that goes over the top of the table. That can be very hard and uncomfortable for someone to sleep on. And only really one adult can fit on that, that area. It's not wide enough for two. And then you go to the sofa area, again, not quite wide enough for two, comfortable for one, and it's got a kind of strange angle to it because it's an L-shaped. 
I would much rather have the recliners. Of course, if you were mm -hmm. to remove that and put the recliners in, now you're lo losing a sleeping space for Another one person. So that would be a bit of a problem. So you kind of have to trade it off and figure out, you know. Okay, so there you have it. Now, our bonus pick for the our best like. our like. Yes. Our bonus right. pick. You tell me. I forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember without looking at my oh, notes. No. I forgot what it was. Okay. It couldn't be that great if I can't remember it. Exactly. <laughs> Our one favorite thing is the opposing slides. Oh my God. We have three slides. We have the kitchen, bedroom. the bedroom, and then we have it. It's a slide on the driver's side, the full length. Full, well, full length. Pretty, pretty much, much it's a full length. Right. And what a huge difference that makes when you have opposing slides open. It just really opens things up. It gives I mean, it more of a... There's almost a dance floor in the, in the center. I mean, it's very... And it actually, it makes it feel like a home. Yes. And it, I really it, enjoy that. As I, I think that's true for any RV, whether it's a trailer mm -hmm. or fifth wheel. When you have those opposing slides, it gives you that feel of a home. It's fantastic. It just it, gives you so much room. And there you have it, guys. Those are our likes and dislikes for our 2018 Holiday Rambler Endeavor 38K Diesel Pusher. Class A Diesel Pusher. Wow. Got it. Got it all down. Got to memorize. It took me a while. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. If you have an opinion one way or the other about your RV, what you like, what you don't like, if you agree or disagree, or if you have a question, anything, leave them down in the comments below. Let us know what you guys think. Tell yes, us. Please, yeah. please you know, we always yes. enjoy, Katrina handles those comments. She takes care of them. She goes through every single one. She's always responding. She does an incredible job. Thank you, Aww, Katrina. That was sweet. Awesome job. There you have it. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be notified every time we release a video. We have some great things coming up soon. We're going to let you guys know about some interesting, fascinating things, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Could you be a little more excited? <laughs> hey. It and, is exciting. Yes. Until next time. Until next time. Until next time. Same back time. Same. No. <laughs> All right. Remember, All right. guys. Any day you can get away is a, is great, a great day. day. You guys take care and thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya.